the bow, Kim. Thank you. I want to thank all of you for coming out at the last minute today. Uh, the family really appreciates your support um, as you've been here from the beginning and continue to support them. Uh, Brent Rocha and Ron Gransky wanted to make a statement on a couple things that uh, clear up some rumors and um, answer some of your questions as far as some phone calls we've received. They will not be taking questions at this time. There will be a time when they would like to be able to take questions, but today is not that time. But they wanted to share some things with you. Thank you. Well, it's a beautiful day out here today. This is the park Lacey used to always come to, and nothing I'd love better than to see her back here. I want to try to answer some of the questions I know everybody has, and uh, you know, bear with me. I'm not. I don't do this for a living. So, um, first of all, about the car. People are probably going to wonder how we found out about the car. We've driven by his house and we've seen we've seen a new truck there, and uh, Lacey's car's not there. So that's how we first found out about about the car, and then. Uh, so, uh, uh, and then uh, we, we thought until we, uh, uh, we found out differently that we'd go ahead and, and uh, purchase the car. And, uh, and, and the car uh, uh, was in Scott's name, but uh, uh, thanks to uh, Mr. Roberts, uh, it's in the family's hands now. And uh, we're going to keep it until uh, Lacey comes home. Uh, about the house, uh, the house is in both names, Lacey and Scott's. I find it hard to believe that he thought he could sell it without Lacey's signature. Of course, I found it hard to understand a lot of things Scott has done, so why should this be any different? He said since the first night he wanted the focus to be on finding Lacey, not on him. But with things he's been doing and saying, the focus is all on him. You want to change the focus, Scott? Talk to the Modesto police in this circus. Also, uh, we've heard there's, a, there's another tip line for information about Lacey. Uh, the only tip line that we support and encourage the public to use is the Modesto Police number, which is 209-342-6166, and the Lacey Peterson website at www.laceypeterson.com. And one other thing, um, the baby is due on the 10th of February, which is this coming Monday. We've confirmed that date. It's not the 16th. I know people have been putting it in the paper and the news that it's the 16th. The date has been confirmed the 10th. Um, thanks for your support. Without you folks, uh, who knows where we'd be. But please understand that this is not the easiest times for us. And especially with the baby coming close, it's not that easy right now. So I'm going to let Brent talk to you for a minute. Thank you. I just want to let everyone know, uh, thanks for being here. We do appreciate the media support. Um, Lacey's family and friends, I'm not going to comment on the car or the house. I left that to Ron. I think uh, it represents how everyone feels in the family. But Lacey's family and friends will be conducting searches during the remaining Saturdays in the month of February. Uh, the first search will be held this Saturday, February 8th at 9 a.m. and will include a search of the Delta Mendota Canal. Volunteers, friends, and family will meet at the Orchard Restaurant parking lot in Vernalis, which is near I-5 and Highway 132. Other tentative locations uh, on the following Saturdays may include Lake Don Pedro, on the 15th and Lake Pardee on the 22nd. Additional information will be available on the LaceyPeterson.com website. Uh, we would like to encourage volunteers to join in the search for Lacey where appropriate. We encourage searches by boat, horseback, quads, bikes, etc. If you are unable to join us in one of these searches, um, we still ask uh, that ranchers, farmers, property owners with acreage to search their land and any bodies of water and any areas surrounding their properties. Thank you. Thanks, folks. Dave. Are you angry at Scott for selling the car? 
We do have copies of their statements for you. Um, they have made, did make revisions um, right before we left, and so there are some things in, that will not be included on the printed statements, such as the information on the baby's due date, were not included. But we have copies. Shelly can get those to you. Thank you very much. What will the family?